The following knot was tied in a sample of Rio's 10-pound steelhead salmon tippet material and tested on our Instron machine to illustrate its relative breaking strength. The non-slip loop knot is an excellent knot for attaching a fly to a tippet and particularly good for larger flies and slightly heavier tippet materials. I like this knot for steelhead flies, for my trout streamers, and my saltwater flies. So it's a great knot for those larger flies and those stiffer tippet materials. And it's a very easy knot to tie. You start the knot without threading your hook on and tie yourself an overhand knot in the end of the tippet before you thread on the hook. Don't pull it tight and tie it about four to five inches from the end of the tippet. Then thread the hook and double the line back on itself and poke the tag end through the non-slip knot here as though you are undoing it. So you kind of look which way here, see that comes out that way. So I thread it in, undoing it. I then slide it up tight, but not tight, kind of like to about there. One tip for me that works really well is I pinch this with my finger there, that's to lock it. Turn it around and then four, five, three turns, whatever you like around the standing end here, just with a tip of tag end. Once you've got your tag ends tied, you then take your tag end here, put it through the knot again as though you were undoing it. Hold it tight, this tag end here, you want to hold it tight. Kind of get, let the knot form like so. And then you either lick it or I prefer to use chapstick myself. I think, it's, I think knots slide out a lot better with chapstick. So just a little smear of chapstick, kind of like that. And then once you've got your knot formed like this, you can let the tag end go, hold the hook, and just pull and really wrench it down. This is 50 pound slick shooter, so you really need to pull it down. But you can see what happens when it does. And that is a non-slip loop knot. And what is cool about this knot, what's so beneficial about this knot, is because it's a loop, your fly can move very freely around in the current. So if your, li your line is in the current and you're stripping your line, the fly moves around very freely. It's not hinged and pinched as it is with a clinch knot. So now let's look at that tied in a regular 10 pound steelhead tippet material. Here it is. As I said to you earlier on, what I really like about this knot is the freedom the fly has to move around within the knot. When you compare that to a clinch knot or improved clinch or something, you'll find that this knot tightens right down on the neck of the fly and that allows the fly to swivel around and be locked at a very strange fishing angle. So sometimes you can just find when you're fishing these clinch knots that the fly will fish at a strange angle and for me that is enough reason to utilize this non-slip loop knot because I think it just gives you that better fishing in the water. On a single Instron test, this knot broke at 8.43 pounds, which equates to 80% of the tinsel strength of the nylon it was tied in. Rio, make the connection.